Hello and welcome back to another tech tip tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to go between layer two solutions without ever having to touch Ethereum mainnet. What's the advantage of this? Well, you don't have to pay the extremely high gas fees. So let's take a look here on how this is all going to be done. Stay tuned. This current bridge by the Connects and OneHive team, Xpollinate, allows you to go between four different chains. That means you can go from XDAI chain over to the Matic chain, Phantom and Binance, and all the other way around. So you got different combinations you can do of different things, and you can transfer various stablecoin assets. You have DAI, USDT, USDC. Um, and they are going to be adding something soon. We'll see. Now, I just want to give a brief overview of how it all works um, in terms of what's happening in the bridge and if it's good to go uh, in terms of liquidity. So uh, if you guys look down here at the bottom, XI Network has a bunch of exit liquidity. Um, Matic Network has some too. Phantom doesn't. So uh, as you guys can see here, it says NAN. Now they might be doing some repairs or rebalancing or whatever it is. Um, but what this means is that you actually can't transfer any funds from whatever network to Phantom Chain because there is no exit liquidity. So what you're looking for really is if there's exit liquidity. So if there's something at the exit waiting for you on that chain, that means you can go through with it. If there isn't, then you're going to have a problem. So for example, if you're going to transfer DAI from the XI network into the Binance Smart Chain, in this current scenario right now, you'll be capped at $845. That's it, because there's only $845 of exit liquidity. The en entrance liquidity doesn't matter, just, just the exit. So uh, I'm just going to be going over to Matic just to make it a bit simple. Um, so I'm just gonna double check here. So they have um, Matic exit liquidity for DAI. So that's what I'm swapping. And I'm just gonna double check that I have that as well. So um, I don't know why my wallet is kind of messed up, but that's supposed to say XDAI. Um, and let's just hit swap there. Okay. And I'm gonna sign in or sign that transaction. And uh, I'm just going to give you guys an example here. I'm just going to transfer uh, 10 bucks. Um, so they're charging me um, 0 0.005 of a cent for this transaction. Um, so it's super cheap. If you guys have ever interacted on mainnet, you know, it's a couple dollars. Uh, if it's not, you know, a couple hundred dollars <laughs> when it's uh, really expensive. Um, actually, I'll just leave it at 20 and we'll just hit accept there. And uh, this is off screen, but the transaction confirmed down below. Um, and then we just kind of wait for it to do its thing. It takes takes a couple minutes, but uh, it's just a one click process. So now we just wait for it to finish. And I'm going to be speeding up the video. OK, there we go. So we have success. Uh, we've transferred die from X die over to Matic, and you guys can see there. Now, I just want to note one thing. Sometimes the transaction doesn't go through. There will be another screen that says retry or recover funds. Um, don't spam the retry and don't spam the recover funds. Do it once, wait a little bit, and do it again. Um, if you spam it, you DDoS the bridge, and then the bridge works for no one, and then the team has to go and manually reset it. So that just makes it worse for everyone. So please don't spam the retry. Um, but there you have it, guys. That is pretty much it. Now, um, if we switch networks over to uh, Matic, um, we will see that the funds are here. And there you have it, guys. Very easy, very simple bridge tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.